Uh, and, looks like our competitors are here and ready to go. They just hopped right in it. So, all right, <laughs> we'll get it going. You know, ready to put on a show already. To show you what it what it means to keep playing this Grand Blue versus even in the year of COVID. And man, the competition it has not ever slowed down for this game at all. I, I'm super proud of everybody that is still putting in work for this game and uh, all you guys out there still supporting the game as well. Oh no, we get the Grand Mirror matches. Here we go. Oh man. Callisto stream up. Hold on, I gotta switch that. <laughs> here. See, I'm trying to keep up with all the stats on Grand Blue right now. We got the Mirror Grounds going here. All right. Sakabato, of course. I don't think Sakabato's changed uh, since the launch of the game. It's always been playing Ground, right? Like, might so, have played Vita a little bit. So, he's had, Sakabato's had some few changes. So, he played initially, he played Fairy. And then he switched to Grand, oh, right. then then to Jita for a short while, and now I don't even think he knows who he plays now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so interesting to see how this character has changed. Up oh, the, the wow. reaction DP, nice. I don't care how many frames of delay you have, that was a beautiful DP right there. <laughs> yeah. So like one of one of the Sakabato's issues right now is that he doesn't really like some of the changes that they made to the Shotos, particularly the changes to EX Fireball, where you don't get the uh, knockdown anymore. Right. So yeah, that was such an interesting change. Like we were talking about the last time uh, for tag and battle, you just slight adjustments to your routing here will really go a long way. I mean, like even you playing uh, Catalina, you've made those adjustments and really learned from it. So. All right, here we go. And. Oh no. Yeah. I'm... See, that was really nice punish there off the EX boot. And I gotta say, uh, really good stuff from Sakabato here playing in the neutral. Like, at such an excellent range, even against Gron. Really knowledgeable stuff here. Nice finish with the fireball there. Keyblades out. We're gonna unlock the heart. See, Sakabato still buying those new weapons out there with the events running around on Grand Blue. <laughs> yep, <laughs> you got to. They got the battle pass and everything now. I know, it, I just said battle pass, I'm like, well, okay, and you know, you really have to realize, like, how many casual players are still playing this game just being fans of Grand Blue in general, besides, like, you know, us being competitive. Oh, the boot confirmed! Wow! wow. <laughs> that was sick. The clash, that was falling L, wasn't it? Right yeah. The clash. Amazing stuff here from Sakabata, but already caught in the corner here. This is an opportunity for Elad. Oh. Okay. Wow. That and first then... hit right into the fireball to wrap it up here. Okay. I really want to know what made a lot switch to to Grand. A lot last time I played against a lot, a lot was playing Narmaya. Oh. Interesting. Oh, what the yeah. DP? No. <laughs> oh. Right, gone here. Okay. Wow. What a throw. Go back up and wow, nice confirm off of the sweep here to you from Sakabato. And still right back to the corner you go. A lot of really being in control of this map up here. And it's curious because I wonder if it's more, like you said, the Narmaya pick is normal for allowed. And I wonder too if uh, knowing you're going up against a Shoto like Grog, uh, if maybe you have just more comfortability just being able to answer Shoto with Shoto. All right. Uh oh, oh no. Uh -oh. Nice low into... Okay, not close enough I need... point yet. Wasn't EX boot either. This matchup needs more boot. Oh no, <laughs> Rob! Right? <laughs> Out of there with DP. Nice jump, you cross up. Reset into throw here. Yeah, that's something that wow! you act... Oof. Something you really gotta look out for when you play against Rob. Rob really likes to up forward out of... <laughs> off of a knockdown, so you need to be right. prepared for that. You got a meaty, just make sure you don't let him do that. Yeah. And especially with a character like Braun, where his JU is so good. Oh, oh, oh no, missed the confirm! Oof. That's such a killer... Uh, had a lot finished the confirm off of the uh, crouching heavy, that could have been a different story there. I don't think it would have killed. It definitely would have done a lot. We're, we were, what, pretty close to 40% there? So yeah, that would have been... It being counter hit, it might have been a whole different story here, a whole point for a lot here. And now you're starting right back where you began once again. Back to 
Oh, we get to DP. I swear these grants have a shared brain cell. It's <laughs> a tug of war. Who keeps the last one? <laughs> <laughs> Good patience here, but still trying to find that spacing, trying to get these whiff punishes, not biting off the overhead here. Allowing oh! In the sky bound situation here. I'm waiting for the sweep. Oh, I. That big counter hit. Oh my goodness. I'm just waiting for the sweep just to come up. Sweep super. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was it. <laughs> I was like, one of them was going to do it. One of them. It, it, you just, you can predict exactly how a ground matchup is going to go. Like, just 100%. <laughs> like, well, at some point, somebody's going to get this sweep out of here. So, shout outs to BCU. I'm expecting very strong matchup here. One thing I want to know is, ha has Bisu actually played a, a strong Sora's like this? Because Shubu's, when I was watching him play, he really good. Um, well, of course, out on the East Coast, you have to think about uh, Mars is still out there putting him yeah. um, with Sora's. So I, I wonder how often Bisu has ran into Mars. I mean, it, All right. It's, more than likely they've done it a few times here, but let's see what Shubu has. I mean, always a different flavor here, especially when you have Sora's out of the front. And we're gonna see a lot of this pinwheel action here. That's really gonna stop a lot of the ground game that Sora's is so well known for. Nice Lariat to push into the corner, and now the onslaught begins. <laughs> oh, the ability's already gone! <laughs> oh my god. And that's the second time that he's got him with that delayed jump in from Belial. Like, oh, and we get the anti air into the pinwheel, but no connection. Oh boy. Alright, so now, yeah, a lot of back and forth for this neutral control here. The, the nice thing, though, is that there's been a little bit of a change up here with Belial's uh, 5H. It's not going to really matter too much here. Oh, no full animation. Oh, and he gets scooped. <laughs> oh, it can happen to you. <laughs> you just let this. Oh. <laughs> You too can get scooped up. I don't care what abilities you oh, have. Oh, man. Nice big jump-ins here. And again, Sora's afraid to press buttons with Punish right here. I'd be scared too with the reactions from Misu here. Oh, wow. Wake up, hell. All right. Okay, armored up. Nice. A little bit too early. Scooped again! <laughs> We gotta put, turn the volume up, please. I swear to God, it's it's reactable if you listen to the sound. All right, wow, and we're already flexing, but it's not gonna matter here. Oh, no confirm into Skybound Art here. Gotta go for one more hit, but still. Oh, no. It's not gonna happen. EXDP. Strong showing from DC on that. What did he get? Three command grabs off of that? <laughs> he definitely did. <laughs> It's it's terrifying because you're so scared of this pressure, and Sora's definitely wants to keep close. So you're not going to really risk uh, trying to jump out in bad situations here because of how much pressure that uh, Belial wants anyway. So it's really it's a terrifying situation. Like you're holding your breath and hoping that you get that straight hit that you're looking for. Nice ex hit here. Oh, good DP from Beast to get out of the corner. Wow. Assimilation, carry over. Grab again! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Shubu has got to wake up at the wheel. Take a couple more drinks of the Red Bull or, or G Fuel. Whatever eSport drink you have next, you need to start waking up in these interactions here. Well, we can't get scooped up that many times. Yeah, you hate to see it, but <laughs> you gotta... Uh. EX blades are out there. Nice armor up, but nope. Already busy recognizing the situation. Whoa, big what? counter hit. Nothing off to be quite yet, though. There we go. Oh, I do like the in and out that uh, that Soros is pulling off here, though. Just doing a little bit of damage. You already have 50% life lead going here. Yeah, that's the great so thing, too, with, with Soros, is that how much ship damage you do. So even if you just get, get them to block, you can put in a lot of work doing that. 
got full animation here. Massive amounts of damage. I mean, seriously, it was only a whiff hit, and you're already getting rocked with so much damage on the board there. You still have Super Sky Valve out here. Might see the muscles pop. Yep, we sure do. And boy, what a challenge from Bisu here. All right. Sorry to make the approach. Oh. Gotta watch out for these long normals from uh, oh, Belial here. And wow, nice jumping kick here. There we go. More chip damage on the way. Nice. No counter hit, though. Yikes. This is scary. Two more hits will do it here. Oh, oh my god. Whoa. And you get scooped again. <laughs> Stop it, DC. <laughs> it, it's, it's a matter of that respect thing, right? You're like, surely my opponent will not throw me. For the seventh time in this set there's no way yeah that was legit like probably like five was it like five grabs on that set right and four of them were in one round alone <laughs> yeah like that was wild shout outs to bc like i said one of norcal's finest he's just mm -hmm. living his best life right now on the east coast <laughs> visiting came back to visit a little bit and kick our asses it's scary. It, it is certainly scary to run into a Belial here. But I, I have to say, though, there's been quite a bit of uh, adjustments being made. Like, one of the big things I really kind of, uh, like, spoke on when uh, Belial dropped and all those, you know, buffs and nurse happened during the, what I call the Belial patch. It's like, really pay attention to what changed on other characters as well, because it, it kind of paves the way for how the rest of the cast is going to interact. And, you know, we're seeing characters like Yule uh, and Cagliostro really have uh, some answers for Belial. And of course, you know, it, we, we can constantly look at how uh, Beelzebub has a lot of answers for Belial play. So it's really uh, fascinating to see how people have really made these adjustments here. That, I mean, there's no question that Belial was like a solid character day one. Like, that, no question there. I'm not going to try to downplay what Belial had. Belial was kind of kind of cheap <laughs> day one but still there were answers being found when people put in the work and you know we yeah. i think it took what uh seth Lolo, like one tournament victory for people to be like all right this is <laughs> enough <laughs> all right so it looks like we're getting our next match on we're getting zombie mew versus vin fam vin v fam so i'm not i'm not familiar with vin at all so i'm not sure who they play but like I said, Zombie Mew is very well known here on the West Coast. We all know him as, like I said, probably the best Grand on the West. And I know he's been messing around with Yule a lot too as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm very curious to see how that goes. I mm -hmm. want to see which character he picks for this tournament. Yeah, and it looks like... Uh, Vin... That that gamer tag looks familiar, but uh, if the chat is anything to go by, it looks like a NorCal Jita player. Okay, that's that's really cool. Jita, I, I really like seeing Jita. I actually wish more people played Jita. I feel like she's definitely underplayed. She's still very good. Oh yeah, has all the tool. She has such a good tool. So I mean. Yeah, she's definitely one of those characters that have been blessed with a, a really solid toolkit. Um, it, it, I was kind of surprised to not see more Jita players after Gron got that, that very small nerf. <laughs> it's just, you know, if an EX knockdown is the biggest concern you have out of your character, then I'm just like, man, I, I've seen some nerfs where characters absolutely get butchered and uh, just count your lucky stars. It can still <laughs> do the damage that you can do. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely... All right, so it looks like we're getting them in right now. We're just waiting on okay. zombie. Vin's in here. Oh, damn. Yeah, so, all right, we got the triple S rank right here. Oof. And that's a red square. That's that's just automatic dangerous. Yeah. You have the yellow. It's like, you're you're kind of dangerous. We'll see. But red is, whoa. I want Watch out. That's That's why they're colored that way. <laughs> yep. Speak. Shout outs to square colors. You know, I, I I lost. I was at all the way at orange, and then one person literally dropped me down to to blue. So. Oh my goodness. Shout outs to zero hour. You know, I know you. I know you're busy <laughs> with IRL stuff, and you know you can't can't participate in, in these events right now. So we miss you. We love you. 
take care of yourself and shout outs for, get, for dropping me into a blue square <laughs> it's there's no worse feeling than just watching your square color just diminish when you're trying like new things or like new characters nah it was just me playing cat me doing normal things and <laughs> i was just getting my ass whooped <laughs> i was trying to take when Belial dropped into the lobby, he's like, all right, let me figure out how to play neutral with this character. And people clapping me up. Like, oh, if only, uh, if only I could pull out my Lancelot, you would have a different attitude right now. <laughs> uh, hey, man, Lancelot's, Lan now's the time to play, to play Lancelot. Yup, absolutely. Lancelot is still a, an honest individual. Nothing wrong with that character. Whoa. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Which would Whoa. you rather have, Lancelot or Belial? Come on. At this rate, I don't know. Uh, there... <laughs> All right, here we go. We got Zombie Mew in here. And we got Vin, so we'll see how this goes. But yeah, mute this man. You see this? You see the chat? Chat knows. The I, chat I, knows. Look here. Look here. Lance is arguably is easily top three in this game right now. And arguably the best character in the game. Like the only thing stopping me. There's, like, there, there's not much stopping me from saying it, you know. Without, okay, without we're just going to forget about fairy, without, huh? All right, I see you. I see all of you out here. You <laughs> slot haters. Your problems are skewed out here, okay? We got uh, Yule and Jita on deck. Okay, so yeah, this is the character I seen Zombie play in ranked a couple days ago. I ran into mm -hmm. him, got got beat. Yule is really terrifying. I, I, I love her style of play, just being able to really rush down players. And once she's in, here we go. Like you, If you're not knowledgeable of what is actually uh, safe and uh, what is you know, kind of leaving gaps in Yule's strings, Yule can take advantage of that. And it's really terrifying, especially with her back dash, oh, her, no. uh, her dance dance as well. Being super pl oh, What a DP! Holy cow, Vin knows. Oh, sometimes you gotta baited. Uh oh, <laughs> oh. Not good. that's gonna be a lot. <laughs> yeah, just DP Ender here. Oh, and you gotta no. guess, that's right. That's the terrifying thing in the corner against Yule. It, once she does the DP ender, she lands before you. And now you have to guess, all right, is it going to be high or is it going to be low by the time I get down here? Terrifying stuff. Nice. Backing off. Uh-oh. Mm. That's a counter hit. Not enough quite what? yet. You're good. The Whoa! grab. <laughs> what? The audacity from Zombie. <laughs> I want to know if that was just him being disrespectful, or did he just think he was going for a throw? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the risk in Grand Blue, right? Because you can die off of trying to tech a throw. <laughs> Caught by counter hit overheads because you thought a throw was coming. Oh, man. All right, nice little back and forth. Already a nice chunk of damage here. Already looking about 30% gone from uh, Vin here. Tech. And still back up. That's Clash. Oh, goes for stance here. I wonder. If... No, that's a U input rather than a DP input. So, yeah, that's rough. All right, I'm ready for it. Stance, and that's on an overhead. Surprisingly, it looks like it, but it's not. God, thankfully it is not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as fast as that is, like dang, thank goodness. I ain't never blocking that character. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Especially online. I said, all right, well, I'll just unplug my controller here. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Let's see. Get into the corner. Mash Ooh. it out of the overhead. Smart. I, I got to say, I love that the meta has changed to that, that we're really challenging just uh, overheads with five L's in this game now. Whereas, you know, before it was block and then we wait for our turn. Now we're just actually getting the space out of the corner. Nice confirm into Skybound Art to wrap up the round. That's a game, too. Zombu taking the first one. All right, we're just going straight into match two now. Mm -hmm. Nice, and yep, here we go. Oh, just... no. Yep. <laughs> so we've conditioned you to realize that Zambu is going to go in a dance, right? And come That's, close. That's plus. plus. No, don't. Oh, press the buttons. It's, is anyone else getting Wagner vibes from Yule when she does that? 
It's like, oh, pillar, huh? Great. Oh, no. Nice knockdown. Like I always tell the story. Speaking, of, like, I always tell the story about Wagner from Anime Ascension. My friend Dare was playing against a Wagner player, <laughs> and he was mashing chain shift for a legit thirty-five seconds, and never got. It never just. Came, it never came out because it was all just gapless and plus. <laughs> never. <Yeah. laughs> it just never came out. All right, here we go. And Zombie Mew is now on match point. It's stuff like that that has you waking up in a cold sweat. It's like there wasn't a gap. There was never a gap. <laughs> I have Warple. Coming in nice. It, and we're really seeing like the gears turning here for Vin. Just trying to find the gaps where uh, Yule is still slightly open here. Trying oh, to be no. a little bit overly aggressive, but it doesn't pay off. Uh. You hate to see that. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a counter hit here. Going for the wall bounce. Oh, right in the skybound art. Why not? We have All plenty right. of health. We're going to get another one on deck here in just a bit. Yeah. And when you're really going up against a character that you're not certain about, like trying to guess out of the gaps is such a scary situation because you're sacrificing a little bit of health here and there until you're going like, okay, I'm confident in how I can beat this character. All right, we're going. Oh, Ooh. that's going to be it. And Zombie Yikes. Mew takes it 2 0. Really well done. And it's fantastic to watch right. uh, Yule play. Oh, I, I love watching Yule. Oh, oh, damn. Am I playing BC now? Uh oh. Oh. We're going to find out here. Yeah, it looks like I might be playing BC. Okay. Let me check. Yeah, they do queued King of Clubs, so we're going into winner semi-finals now. And it's gonna be me versus BC. So let me get this upgrade updated before we go on here. Tio, I'm calling a DQ. BC lives in Boston. <laughs> this is the I don't West care Coast if BC has fiber internet, you're not allowed to be in this. <laughs> Just speaking of that, they were talking about that on uh, Callisto's uh, tournament today. That somebody in Florida uh, was playing now and again because their their fiber is so good that they have some of the best two frame connections. So I'm just like, that's that's the new wave. Like we have to all get on fiber to play these online brackets. That's going to be the new requirement. It won't be land cables to make sure that you're playing. All right, I'm going to mute a, myself, but we're going to get into this. Me versus these. All right, here we go. Juice up against Bisu. We got the Catalina out here. What a Bisu. And of course, Belial, handsomest man. Basically, Belial shows up to your house and goes like, I'm taking all your food. You have to give it to him. Those are the rules. I don't make them up. That's how it is. Nice stagger pressure. 2M, scary button here. And it's really interesting to see how Belial contends with the range that uh, Catalina has, especially offstanding. Uh oh. Nice DP, late tag. So still, Juice's turn here. And what a wonderful start. Nice, off the wall. Here we go. Let's get all the damage. Good lord. Catalina still hurts. And honestly, I, I love it off of Catalina. Just like the reward that you get for playing defensively and just getting the right reads off of whip punishes is worth it every time. Nice side switch here off the throw, going for the toes. EX, yikes. Caught you reach in here. Beast, you still has a bit of work. Nice block on the low from Juice. What a DP. Now it's a risky situation here because if you leave any gap, that's an immediate skybound art. Uh oh, here we go. Yeah, that'll... No, not full animation! Okay, still has a chance, and that'll do it. Button into throw. Okay. Off to the back off. The clash off the jump edge for the crouch again. It's crazy. Tried to go for trip guard, but that button was hell active here. Hands. Wow. Empty jump, 2M off the wall. EX pinwheel into DP Ender. Goes for full damage, not Skybound Art. Really interesting choice here from Bisu. 
probably better Oki situation. I wonder. Uh oh, overhead. Okay, make it count. Super skybound art from Juice here. Full animation is activated. Gonna be a nice chunk of damage here. One more mix. Opportunity for Juice to wrap it up. But Bisu here has plenty of resources available. No anti air, empty jump low. No, drop the counter hit. Yes. Juice takes it. <laughs> we call those happy accidents out here. One little, we drop the lemon. It's okay, we'll pick it back up. No harm, no foul. EX Rust is gonna get punished here. Full extension and assimilation. Nice walk of the bravery. And, and it's rightfully earned. You know, just Belial is competent enough to walk in. It's terrifying. Nice. Wow, what an adjustment for Bisu. Knowing that the run-up will uh, cause Juice to check with EXDP to remove any sort of gap in the string that uh, Bisu is thinking about doing. Okay, nice. Off the EX pinwheel into EX assimilation here. EX command throw, the first one of the set. And that's the first game here going to Bisu. Another there. What a set and really good adjustments here um, from Bisu. I like the back and forth. Honestly, it, it's it's a really interesting match to watch. Nice no EXDP here. See, we see the, you know, in the back of Juice's mind now, it's going to be, okay, well, he's aware that that's an option that uh, I have. He's already punished it once. Wow. Got caught by the pinwheel here by sticking the button too far out. Whoa, the jump in. That was a nice jump install from Bisu here. Big opportunity going to keep the Oki pressure. No ant here. Oh boy, counter hit, but no confirm after. Just kind of reset the combo once again. Nice. Uh oh. That should do it. Yep, it will. Match point here for Bisu. Oh. Oh, it missed the extension off the armor cancel. And yeah, pinwheel, what a terrifying spot to dodge in, uh, especially when pinwheel gets activated right at that moment. Okay. Late tech has to hold this mix up here. Wow, what a challenge. The blocks here. Yeah, I think uh, Juice was looking for a, a roll through in that situation. So wasn't able to get the timing right. Nice delay into throw. Really good checks from uh, Juice. Oof, EXDP, get off of me. I need this space. And there we go. Opting for another EXDP from Juice once again here. Uh-oh, he was already making that momentum. Already making the move here, but drops the combo. An opportunity for Juice here. All right, stop running at me. Nice two L's. Gonna have to hold this block. Wow. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with the knowledge here from Juice. The confidence to know when to tech that throw. That's another round here for Juice. Instead of opting for DP, this Juice is ready. <laughs> Thinking several moves ahead. Recognizing the situation here. Because that's a tough guess whether or not they're going to tick throw or go right into throw. Empty jump low has been thrown on the, the table here from Bisu. It, it, it's really impressive that Juice is keeping this cool as the set goes on here. Nice challenge on the low get up. Oh no, okay, but still, nice challenge off that 2L. Another throw, okay. Rolls through. Oh, wow, EX uh, Fireball does pay off here, but that EX Assimilation already has a combo going there. Dropped by Bisu, air to air. No extension after the fact. You're both are within range of killing. And yeah, that should do it here. Full animation. Bisu takes it. 2-0 over Juice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad on that last one. I did not expect him to get hit by the 5L. Yeah. <laughs> that, so I didn't confirm it in the super there. That was a good though. Uh, no, it was a really good set. Really awesome stuff. Uh, liked it a lot. Jeez, uh, like you were playing on another level of reading those situations off of jump you cross-ups. Like, uh, 
the defense was just impeccable. Honestly, really good stuff, Juice. Yeah, that was a lot really fun. I haven't played Beast in a really long time, so that was fun. <laughs> All right. So let's see who we got coming up on our next match. Let me upgrade bracket. Yeah, that was actually a really fun set. Looks like Zombie Mew came in, so I'm assuming that's going to be who we're going to have. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is going to be a good matchup. So Zombie Mew versus... I don't know how to say it. It says Verfortiso. I know they're a cat pl another cat player as well. At least they were last time I seen them play. So I'm definitely excited to see this, you know. Bisu, as much as I love Bisu, Bisu abandoned cat for Belial, so you know. Got a, got a root for... Got, <laughs> I like seeing the rest of these cat players still here. Right. You've all done a tremendous job just really pushing the, the envelope for Catalina. Which, honestly, it, what a solid pick of a character. Like, she's not really changed too much over the time of the game besides the, the one nerf that she received. And even then, like, the game plan is still pretty solid. Uh, has plenty of tools available. I mean, she's just a strong character in general. Uh, I, I'm just, yeah, it, honestly, like if you're still playing Catalina by this point, I mean, you've not been wrong at any point in time, really. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I definitely, I still love the character a lot. Yeah. Like, it, it's really impressive that right out the gate, like a lot of the, like, sure, there were some adjustments to be made, but right out of the gate, most of the cast was pretty solid from the get go. All right, here we go. Yule versus Cat. Ooh, such a good confirm off of that. Yeah. But we get the DP on Wake Up. Oof. Oh, nice. Still Oh, 5H. Such a good button. Oh, no. Uh -oh. I think he was going for the cheeky reset there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a little bit early on that one there. Uh oh, counter hit. Oh no. Nice. The anti air. air. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that'll wall bounce. Going so for the sky mount art. Well done, Zombu here. Going for the full conversion. Go to take a round here. Oh my gotta god. Gotta be careful. You gotta be careful when you jump in. <laughs> so <on> much <laughs> damage. <laughs> My god, yikes. Yeah, Yule doesn't oh, mess no. around. She gets... Yikes, that's gonna be a punish. That's the thing with Yule. You gotta be careful you jump in because that's where she gets her most damaging combos is off of anti-air uh, situations there. All right, what's it gonna be? Goes for low. Good block here from Verfortiso. Oh, wow. Nice. Really good throw. I like the pump fake. Uh oh, okay. Oh no. Mm -mm. Oh no! <laughs> and that's another round here for Zombie taking the first game. And it's so terrifying to see uh, Yule in your face in her stance. She can't block, right? So you're just sitting here like, what? Why are you doing this? And you try to take your turn, and she's like, psyched. <laughs> Getting punished for trying to go for it here. Taking right. the bait. situation oh. and that's tough oh wow no punish though just out of range i get to punish on the fireball Another and he's ACR, trying yeah. to ju again like he should yeah. catch Shiki is really strong but yule's yeah. anti-air hits it in a, at the right just the right angle <laughs> yep yeah yule is not gonna let anybody uh jump around in her airspace okay but no confirm after the hit. Yikes, counter hit. No wall bounce, thank goodness. What Whoa. an anti -air. Yeah, spend it all. Just go for That's it. Dead. Don't let the damage dead. mitigation take it. Yep. Uh, catch 2 H is still so big. That hit behind her. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Just hit behind her. Still carries to the corner to get an immediate skybound art. It's just, oh, Oh wow, nice stance switch into 
counter hit, but still EXDP. Perfetiso is still on the offensive here. Fairly close match either way. Oh wow, late tech and nothing after it. Hmm. Anti here, again, we still are gonna play the same song and dance. You gotta stop jumping on Yule here. Zambu is ready to anti here. Everything, basically. Yikes, wall bounce, Whew, full extension, no, oh, okay. Wow, big damage here. Yeah. Let me guess one more yeah, time. Yeah, one guess, nice. yeah. Oh, wow. no. All right, and Zombies on um, match point. Down here. Wow, nice tick throw here from Verfatiso. Blocked overhead, losing the turn. Uh oh. Oh no. And that's close, though. No. But at least no counter hit, though. Just let go of block, if anything. Or maybe attempted to jump. That's what I think it was. It's probably the attempted yeah. to jump out. Alright, here we go. Uh, Wow, really good stuff from Zombo here. Still put on the chip damage. Oof. You gotta be careful. You've been punished once for run up dodge before. Oh, oh wow, what a DP. That's... Wait, are they playing next to each other? Cause come on, that was an online reaction DP right there. That was beautiful. Sick, yeah. Oh, there goes the DP for yeah. the win. And Zombie Mew takes it 2-0. And that means he's going to go into winner's finals against Bisuzu. And this is a matchup. That's going to be a matchup I'm really excited and I'm really looking forward to seeing. All right, let me go take a look and see what we got coming up next on stream. Oh, it looks like a Spada is probably actually in a match right now. Let's see. Actually, never mind. So it looks like Vin and Sakabato are playing offline right now, or off stream right now. So we'll okay. see what's go going right now. Because it looks like we have Ver a lot of Ver Fortiso who could play. Uh, let me see what we're doing. But yeah, anyways, guys, too, I want to let you guys know that remember that we do have a match arena as well for this tournament. So. If you guys are interested, we're at $37.52 for this turn. So let's go check that out right now. See what we got. Wow. Zero. Man, that really jumped out. <laughs> oh, zero over here. Quiet, you know, quietly donating $15. <laughs> Shout outs to zero for that. <laughs> Space you, you know Us Shout outs to you too. You know what it really was, was I was in Callisto's chat earlier, and I was like, someone convinced me to not spend $50 on Pokemon cards right now. And they're like, you should donate to Matcharinos. It's like, oh, what? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, we got this. All you have to do, though, is click the contribute button. And when you click the contribute button, just enter in our code, which is going to be TIB13GVVS. Or... Hold on, let me get it right one for you guys. It's TIB13 GBV. No S at the end. Just enter in that code and you'll donate 50 cents for free. Uh, all you have to do is do exclamation point match Reno in chat. It'll pop up for you. It'll give you the code and you'll be able to enter it in. Uh, I see, looks like we're getting our next competitors in. It looks like we have a lot and for Fortiso coming in. So we'll get that going right now, but Definitely hit up the match Reno if you guys can. Alright. Oh, battle of the Shotos. Let's go. Okay, okay. Ron and Catalina.
No intros, just going in. Just going straight into this. Right. <laughs> this is the day one classic when ev you know everyone was playing this. <laughs> <laughs> like these are the two characters on day one. Rightfully so. I mean, it, really strong. Oh no! You get hit by the boot. Get up. And base the DP. Oh, no. oh. oh. Okay. No. Well. You, you kind of lucked out there because you didn't land after the DP. That could have been far worse had you been landed. And yeah. this is the worst case scenario. What an yeah. anti-air into Skybound art. Yeah. Like, Catch JU is really strong. Like, you can beat out a lot of 2Hs with this character, with JU. But Grand, Jita, and other cats are not... You're not able to do it too often. So you're mm -hmm. going to have to definitely watch out. Great 5H oh, wow. anti-air. Yeah. Nice. Whoa! <laughs> that was scary. I wonder what could have been next here for Grom if Grom didn't throw out that fireball there. That could have been bad news bears. Okay, wow. Nice counter hit. 5H. I love how Grom doesn't even look. It's it's the equivalent of just like shooting with your eyes closed. Grom just spins around. It's like, if you get hit, it's your own fault. <laughs> uh, I really like what, I see, what I'm seeing from, from Brute Fortiso too as well because a lot of the times... They're just throwing out that far five out just as like a, ch a hit check kind of just trying to make keep them honest and not letting them get anything after. Right. Like right there, just did it again. Oh, boy. oh no! Oh, right. it's overhead, no counter hit though, so that's nice. To you into fireball, back up into the goal. Oh, the dodge, but still, they're still alive here. Nice dodge through the EX boot. Really well done. All right, and the life lead is definitely in Allowed's favor here. But still, that can disappear in an instant. Your back is against the wall here against Catalina, no less. Oh, nice. Punch her in the face. Don't let her move. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, hit off into the wall. Oh, no. Oh, but you dropped it. You were too high. Yeah, that's the problem with that combo from that distance is that unless they're a big body like Basaraga or Festiva, that will drop. I had that happen so often right. against small characters. <laughs> it's that is you hate to see it, and I bet you too if you would have just made like the slight adjustment to wait for Gron to fall just a little bit more, you still didn't have to catch that. Yeah, the, that idea you either have to delay it a little bit. Or just try to micro dash after. If you micro dash after, you can usually get it too. Ah, that's definitely possible as well too. Oh no, there's the wall bounce. Gonna get tons of damage here. Oh no! That's the one thing about this game is that grab ranges are so short, so that oh, could yeah. happen in an instant. Great spot dodge. Oh wow. Okay, just barely out of range here. No anti-air. Oh wow! The audacity. <laughs> I smell a DP opportunity and nice. That was a fireball. Wow. Okay, looking at a game point here on Verfetiso's end. Stay alive in this bracket. Max range thrust. Oh my god. Wow, really good. Oh my goodness. Oh. Cool. Such a good neutral oh, no. jump. Oh my god. Stop pressing buttons, please, a lot. Such a good neutral jump, though. Oh my god. Alright, okay. Immediately into Skybound right here. Gets the hit. Can't confirm. Okay. Already carried to the corner. A nice jump out. Oh my goodness. You are so lucky you weren't a fraction of a frame Oof. closer to that corner. Oh wow. And another one. Perfect range. Fireball. Punishing the EX boot here. It's one to one in this set. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Alright, so who advances on into the bracket? Only time will tell oh. here. That was wow. sick. That converted wow. you. Like I said, Jay, you have to be really careful against Grank. Grant's 2H has such an active hitbox, and the angle that it goes catches it quite often. 
Yeah, no, that was insane. And of course, it's clear that Aloud is just used to that interaction happening because Aloud just did not even skip a beat and continued just the usual route of punishing that. Okay. Great throw Whoa. punish right there. Shimmy Wimmy's out here from Aloud. Oh, and again! Another one. Oh, but went the wrong way that time. You gotta watch out. With five H's. Oh! Oh no! Okay. I thought All that right, was gonna be death. Oh no! Under the yeah. DP. That's you hate to see dance it. Dance on him, Aloud. Dance on him. Oof, nice thrust, shutting down the fireball here from Aloud. Oh, oh no, counter hit overhead. You hate to see it. Trying to tech the throw, but an overhead was on the way instead. Another one. Goes for it. Oh my wow. god. Nice. Oh no, he didn't oh, no. get the 5H to come out. No. All right, well, well we're, we're making do with the happy accident here, but this is looking really bad really fast here. One more combo will do it. Aloud's looking to move on in this bracket here. <gasps> okay. Ooh, such still a good one. Yeah. Still still has room here. Uh-oh. Wow! Five wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So again, folks, it's called Grand Blue uh, Fantasy Versus. Uh, if it isn't obvious, uh, Gron is the main character of this game. And as you can see, plot armor protects Gron in this game, just like it does in the show. That's pretty hilarious, yeah. <laughs> well done for both players. Really good showing from Vin as well. Or Verfatisa, excuse me. All right, so give me one second. Let me look at the bracket. It looks like, okay, so my match is going to come up next. It's going to be me versus Vin Fam. And then after that, we're going to go on to winner's finals, which will be BC versus Zombie Mew. So this match is going to be, what is that, me versus Vinfam. So I'm really excited because I've actually never played them before. So it's really cool to see someone else who's in here who hasn't been here before. So shout outs to Vinfam for coming in and actually entering the tournament. We love to see new faces come in here. All right, so yeah, let me stop spectating and then. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. Set against Vin. Yep, I'm gonna be meeting myself, but then let's get <laughs> this going. And of course, everyone that's tuned in, thank you so very much. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully you're enjoying yourselves on this awesome bracket for tag and battle don't forget as well after this bracket there will be a uh, bb tag bracket following so be sure to stick around of course there's that match arena as well that's been posted uh periodically in the chat as well be sure to check that out donate that free 50 cents for entering the code as well and here we go we got the set started already big neutral game between Gita and catalina this is gonna be Nice. Oh, already in the corner situation here. This is really advantageous for Juice. But finally getting out. Nice jump you from Vin. Oh, that's going to get punished for sure. Absolutely. Button into Skybound Dart. Just closes it out. And again, starting just like we did earlier in the last round. Really playing the neutral game here. And that's the thing is that Juice is willing to be really patient for you to close that gap. I mean, and it makes sense too. Catalina has some tremendous options. Yikes, the counter hit overhead. Big damage too. Has a Skybound Art available. But we're going for DP Ender into another overhead here. Nothing off of it. Going to get blocked by Juice. Juice finally getting the space from the corner. Has some resources here, but still a lot of work to do. Yikes, nice 2M there from Jita. Oh dear, with Punish, Skybound Art. It's a round right there. Battle three, engage. Nice 
DP, counter hit there, EX Fireball. Hold these buttons, please. Nice into Rekka. Oof. Nice jump here. Goes for reset, already 50% damage down. What's it gonna be? Nice EX DP off the overhead. Getting out of the corner here, but still another life lead situation here. Vin Fam going into Skybound Art. Should be able to wrap it up here. These are all true inputs. So yeah, we're gonna go to the end of that one there. One game for Vin Fam here. Believe in victory. Oh, a really interesting interaction there. The thrust going right through. Nice dodge, trying to get the punish, but just a smidge too far there. Oh no, early dodge, gonna get caught by the fireball counter hit. No confirm after the fact there. Nice decision to jump out from Juice. Most off, more often than not, like a, a reset like that is probably sniffing out a throw or something else after the fact. Generally a button, right? But the throw was going to be that next option. He has a small life lead here. That could go away in an instant here. Super Skybound art. It's going to go full animation, but I'm not sure. It actually might kill here. It wasn't too much of a string beforehand. Yes, it does. Jita can hurt at all sorts of ranges. So that's one round up for Vin here. And it's a nice solid back and forth between both players. They're both fairly even when it comes down to the end of the round. It's just a matter of who gets that final hit. And so far, uh, Vin has been coming out on top. That's three rounds straight that Vin has won. Hopefully Juice can stop that momentum here. Uh-oh. Big EXDP. Oh no! The punish in the Skybound Art right away. Definitely get as much damage as we can. You're going to have to... Oh. <gasps> okay. He survived. All right, nice jump, you. We need to hold this corner. Police. Counter hit. No confirm. After we got the wall bounce, but no confirm combo here. EXDP. Get off of me. Has the Skybound Art available. EX Fireball spent. Wait a little bit here. Still has thrust. Still has armor. And of course, waiting on Fireball from Vin. Still recovering. And there it is. That's the neutral there. Okay, it's spent here. Immediate restart. No EX spent. What's it going to be? Looking for an opening here. Has life lead. Doesn't need to be too risky there. Nice EX DP read there. Saw the starting animations of the throw, but Juice has an EX DP of his own and takes the round. And it's still set point here for Vin Fam, but Juice is looking at taking this match point. Nice start, about 25% gone from Vin Fam. Nice anti air. And now you don't have to worry about that EX DP for a little bit, but I like the decision to go for the EX, especially in the corner here from Vin Fam. Let me get that corner extension. Already 50% gone here, going into just a regular DP. Let's see what happens next. Yep, has to wait his turn. And again, this is where Juice does really well, being really patient, making solid reads, especially playing Catalina. You really benefit a lot from this type of play, but unfortunately that's not gonna happen. The counter hit came out and wraps it up. Vin Fam coming out 2-0 over Juice. Ooh, that was fun. Yeah, that, that was a nice set there. I was so scared because I saw him do the, uh, the skybound art and then dropped it right after us. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> You're not dead yet. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So I think our next set is going to be BC versus Zombie Mew. Yeah. So that's what we're doing right now BC versus Zombie Mew. Winner's okay. finals. This is going to be a really exciting set. Two really, really strong players. 
I honestly don't know if they've actually ever played each other either. You would assume at some point they have. Like, like BC was kind of like really low key in one on the West Coast as far as Grand Blue, like. Right, right, right. So I'm really curious if they ever got a chance to the opportunity to play. Mm -hmm. But this is gonna be an interesting match. <laughs> Two DLC characters. <laughs> <laughs> I I gotta say, like you know, this is one of those fighting games where every DLC character has been interesting to at least watch or, or play. Just every single one they've added, and I think that probably benefits from the fact that I have no prior knowledge to the lore of Grand Blue and like the characters, but every single one that I see, I'm like, this looks cool, and then the next one, this one's cool. So. <laughs> Yule and Belial, both very interesting characters. Panda is going to be super important to shut down a lot of the approach from Yule here. But once Yule is in, that's where the tides will be turned for Belial. It's super important in this matchup in particular. Belial does not want to play this close range game. Oh, we get what? the counter? Nice. Oh, no. Uh-oh. No counter hit. No confirm after the fact, though. He's already committed to the dance. Nice. And gotta watch those anti airs. Yule will shut you down. I mean, like, especially if you're only getting away with like a just a one button anti air. Okay, thank goodness for that. But if she gets a full combo off on you, you're seeing 50% of your health just disappear. And we get to throw this time. Yep. Notorious from Bizu. And of course, Zambu is ready to DP out of that. Zombie wow. is... Okay, so now I'm, I'm really curious to see how BC adjusts that, because Zombie Me was not afraid to DP that set, uh, that round no. at all. Not not in the slightest. It was just every opportunity that Zombu had, there was a DP there. All right, nice. And already look at this life advantage that Zombu has here, forcing Belial to guess. And like I said, this is where Belial does not want oh, to be. Oh, no. Only one escape option being spent that does it the first game for zombu in this winner's finals here yeah we're gonna head straight straight back into this just blocked here and really nice DP neutral again. Jump here. yeah it's crazy zombu is just not afraid very confident of this matchup here oh boy and no confirmed action the fact. Probably wrong routing there, just a smidge off. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 50% gone. What's the Oki going to be? Just neutral? Okay. And another throw. Carry to the corner here. Yikes, the counter hit. See, it's so misleading for Yule, right? Because normally, mid-range. Ah, yes, the range that Belial wants to be at. But the back and forth sways that Yule has makes it really difficult and that kind of alludes to back what i was saying earlier like you have to pay attention to these patches and these new characters that are coming out as well because there are answers that yule has against the wild that are just absolutely devastating for his game plan. all right zombie gets his way out of the corner pushing mm -hmm. bcu out oh no when he gets to hit Okay, nice. EXDP has the space. Woof! The anti-air. No confirm after that second hit, though. That's enough of a wake-up call if I ever saw one. Yikes! Again! Caught jumping here. Full extension into Skybound Art. We have to chunk here. There we go. Full animation. One more mix will do it. Oh, no. Caught low. No confirm oh, after no. the two wells. Yikes. Oh, no. Desperation DP there. That's a 2-0 so far for Zambu. One more will take it and put Zambu in the grand finals. Bizu has got to stop this momentum. Oh, nice assimilation here. And a throw even. Yeah, tries to go for the mix up there. Okay, nice yeah. DP. No way punish. You, you're lucky. Another DP from Zombie, though. Yeah. I said, he's just not scared. BC hasn't given him a reason to to be scared in that situation. Right. It, it's, Again! <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> well, for what we're seeing, uh, Bisu jumping in a lot. And if you haven't learned your lesson, you can't freely jump in on Yule. You have to put something in front of her. Nice. Okay. All bounce here. Ouch. And that uh, nope. Went for reset there. I wonder if they thought the damage mitigation was going to be too much there to get the kill. I mean, look at the life deficit you're at, too. So, I mean, spending it, and if it doesn't end up taking the W there, you know, that might remove, like, a trump card for you uh, in the set. Oh, wow, what a gutsy approach there. No fear from Zambu still keeping the same energy since game one here. into the corner. All right, okay. here we go. Oh. He Ender has to guess low once again. It, it's getting scary, right? Because that's been the conditioning we've been seeing this entire bracket every time that Zambu has been on. After the DP Ender, the mix-up has 100% been low. There has been an overhead, nothing after the fact. So, I wouldn't be surprised if later on in the bracket, we see Zambu pop somebody with an overhead after that ender. Saving it for grand finals. <laughs> right, exactly. The one time, like, certainly is not going to do it. And there it is. Uh, and that was a strong showing from Zambu here. It's very strong showing. Taking yeah. a 3-0 going into grand finals. Oh, sitting pretty out there. Zambu definitely has been playing some Grand Blue, clearly. Coming out here with a flawless game record here thus far, going out 2-0 against everybody so far. 3-0 against Bisu here. All right, so... Is <laughs> Zambu ready to get smoked 6-0 next? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so it looks like we're probably gonna have Vin. Yeah, we're gonna have Vin Fam and Alad coming in next. So I'm really excited to see this match as well. Right. Another battle Alad of Shotos. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shoot against Ver Verfatiso, a really great set between the two. Lots of back and forth. Alad coming out on top. Just impressive stuff here. Alad's been. Of course, a consistent player uh, for uh, tag and battle as well. Just it's been great to see allowed uh, every time I've been on. I, I can always appreciate Shoto players because they they at least have the fun for the most part <laughs> their fundamentals down, and you get some really fascinating uh, neutral interactions uh, with those types of players. And I, and I definitely appreciate that a bit more, like the um, the communication between the two players in those instances of. You know, who's going to whip punish who, you know, a lot of slow, methodical rock, paper, scissors, and really thinking about, like, the next step after the fact is really cool. All right, and here we go. We got our match coming up. Cheetah versus Gran. Skipping the intros, just letting it rock into this. Let's go. <laughs> All right, starting off with the EX Fireball. Yeah, we we got to figure out who's the real main character of Grand Blue. I mean, I think we know what it is, but oh, she and... still wants to make an argument for it. <laughs> nice anti-air with the DP. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, gotta be careful putting out those buttons there. Jita will absolutely smack it out the way. Nice challenge. Yeah, and like you mentioned earlier, a lot of people were just so willing to do that now. 5L anytime they see an overhead coming out. Yeah, it, it's such a smart option because it, you get that spacing, right? And you get the advantage of being able to continue offensive pressure. So the opponent has to really think about, okay, well, do I want to risk doing a DP? Like, in most of the casts, you know, unless they're a Shoto, they have to hold the next situation. Like, is it going to be a throw or... Am, oh! Oh, my Did he goodness, press a button? No way. No way! No way! Wow. Okay. I see you, Vin. I see you. <laughs> I, I, oh my stars. <laughs> okay, nice. Situation here. Okay, and closing the gap immediately. We're throwing DPs out here. 
you know, earlier I was talking about, you know, the nice back and forth of the, the fundamentals of the players, you know, that play Shoto characters, and then we get this nonsense of throwing a wake up sky bomb. Oh. Well, yo, the anti are still going the wrong way. Nice block on the DP. And, oh, man, yeah. this is a mess. Yeah, <laughs> this is a mess. If I ever saw one. Counter hit overhead. What is happening? They, they sh they're sharing one brain cell right now. <laughs> I, going mean, I can't. This... Oh my god! <laughs> he just five you that. <laughs> I, I try to compliment Shoto's, and this is what I get for it. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I've let you down. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, nice counter hit. No confirm. Could you imagine if Zeta actually did have boot? Like, gee whiz. <laughs> I don't need that. My oh life. my god! Why? Yo, this is going to be a lot. No Skybound art, though, so still. Yikes! The EXDP? Wait a minute. Alright, one more touch will do it. And there it is. Kicking down doors. EX boot allowed. Takes the first game here in this loser semifinals. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. All right, we're still challenging. Right? Okay. Oh, and you try to jump out. Right. That's unfortunate there. Wall bounce it is. Going for another extension here. No DP ender. Just closing out with the charge sword. Okay. EX DP. Vin wants some room here. Wants to take a chance. Yikes. Yeah, at that range, you have to really be concerned about a whiff punish or a counter hit. Oh my god. No way. No way. That was an elbow. Oh. Yep. Yep. That was, that was as big range as it gets. Empty jump super. <laughs> if it would have worked, it would have been fantastic. And good on allowed for just doing a 5L in that situation there. And yeah. you're able to recover fast enough to get the block. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I was saying all these nice things about Shoto players in this game at this point, and this is what we get. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Even the chat saying they're loving these Shoto fundamentals. Yeah, I'm sorry everyone. I've I've led you astray. Oh no! That's uh, oh that's Yeah. <laughs> and that was a nice 2-0 from Allowed here. Optimal Shoto play. What have I done? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so Allowed takes that 2-0. And we're gonna have, I believe we're going to go into the Losers Finals, which is going to be Allowed versus Bisu. Alright, so Bisu's still in, chat, er, in here, I believe. Yeah, he's still in the room, so we're good. Nice quick start up here. Okay, okay. Yeah, you guys are free to start whenever you guys want. <laughs> oh, and then Zombie Moo in chat saying that SBA probably would have hit a lot in that situation too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the unfortunate thing. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. So, getting the news that we've hit $50 in the match Reno for Grand Blue. Hell yeah, guys. Shout out to the community for making this happen. That's a wonderful start for the first Grand Blue bracket for Tag and Battle of the Year. Yeah. Oh, nice whiff punish there. Yeah, Good jump out. The corner. Yeah. Five H anti airs again. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> Stop this. Fundamentals. <laughs> oh my god. And it's just swinging Fruitsies. around, spinning his sword. <laughs> Look, it's really questionable. You watch the the style that Gron has. Has not had any sort of traditional training. Just out here, swinging a sword. There's nothing more dangerous than that. Foosies, man. <laughs> Foosies. <laughs> All 
Alright, EX assimilation here already spent. Spin the win out here from Gron. Wow, nice oh charge. My God. I like the idea. <laughs> I really like it a lot. Nice. Goes for TU, but not biting just a little bit out of range. Go for the EX right in the skybound art. So much damage. Full animation. Jeez. Yeah, well, it's well learned, okay? The wild needs it. Oh, we get the oh throw. My goodness. Okay, Bizu tying it up here in the first set. Nice neutral jump to get out of that. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, the 2M. Mess around and find out. Here we go. Simulation just get the ender here. Oh, oh no, unfortunately the H was too low there, didn't actually have any active frames. Oh, when you try to spot dodge out of that, gets grabbed. Put into the corner now. Oh no, that was counter hit too, but no confirmed, thank goodness. Nice five H challenge is the EX fireball. Oh, oh, maybe a little bit of latency issue here. Uh oh. That's probably why the uh, confirmed didn't happen off the counter hit then. All right, so hopefully things are situated. Unfortunate, because that, yeah, that was a significant situation there for uh, for allowed off that counter hit overhead. And it looks yeah. like they're just going to play it out. Nice confirmed skybound art right away, and unfortunately did not confirm. And Goodness gracious. Bisu takes the first match. And they're going straight into the match two. Wow. Great jumping That's... by Bisu. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, that last game was really unfortunate here. Hopefully, Allowed will uh, not carry that you know, rough situation into the next round here. So yeah, that, that counter hit overhead was going to be a regular combo punish. We would have seen a lot of Belial's life deleted. Would have, would have been in a combo situation, a throw situation. And here we go. Now we're seeing what was supposed to happen in the last round here for Allowed and finishes it up with the cancel charge into a 5H. All right. We go for Fireball Wars. And yeah, Pinwheel lasts out there for quite a while. Nice DP. Getting these 5H anti airs out here. Yeah. <laughs> Just press a button. <laughs> H is the most reliable button Gron has. Look at this. Dance on him. Put him in the corner. One more mix. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Good air to air. Yeah, really and good. It's 1 1 now. Yeah. Allowed. Is allowed to move on to the next round. That deserves Matcherino donation right there. That was a good pun. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nice. Back to Trading the fireballs. Fireball. Yeah. Okay, mess around, find out these two M's. Oh, the boot! Wow. I just love. <laughs> I love that EX boot can low crush too, because even if Belial is like, here's another 2M, you're gonna EX boot to your face, mess up those glasses. Ooh, the sweep bounce off the wall. So much damage. Oh no! Jeez. But he gets yeah, throw. Oh, and one more mix will do it. Nope. It's not nope. The Jeez. There we go. Kron has anti airs. It's really interesting to see that we don't see as like West Coast is so interesting because there's so many Grom players on West Coast. There really I just, is. Like, right. And I see so few of them on the East side. Like I just, you don't see it. And it's crazy to me. Oh man. Uh oh. All right. Both Misses. about even here. 
Oh no! Tried for the DP, didn't get it, and yeah. this is gonna hurt. Yeah, full animation. All right, one more mix. Let's see what happens. Oh no! Rift get throw, crap. you're gonna get oh, thrown no. again. That could have been it right there. Oh no! And unfortunately, Bizu is kicking themselves. I'm sure that the throw oh, with no. jump you got a little laggy there. EXDP is gonna get punished, and that's another game. 2-1 for allowed right now in this losers finals. One more game to go into grand finals here. Yikes. Very unfortunate scenarios for both players here, but still allowed coming out on top either way. Nice assimilation here. Nice DP off the EX command grab. Still wall bounce. No confirm. We take those. Oof, DP. I like the attempt to try to get the jump U to bait out the DP, but Gron's DP is such a straight up arc. It's such an interesting angle. It's still going to catch. All right, going straight into the super. Mm -hmm. Gets him towards the corner, trying to push him back into this area. Oh, oh no. That's going to hurt. Try to go for an air throw there. We saw that whip out and still. Super Skybound art, full animation. Yeah. Nice chunk of damage. Ooh, good oh. overhead. Alright, still in this here. Nice blocking the fireball. Fortunately, was able to land before another hit came out there. Oh, nice no. Okay, simulation blocked. Uh oh. I'm still able to get that answer here. Nice. 2M jumping out. Really smart decision there. Yeah, you have to hold down just a smidge. Oh no! Allowed was ready. Off the approach there, gonna get the wall bounce, but no confirmed the skybound art. That could have been it. And oh no. But yeah, that was a little bit late right there. And went for the dodge, got scooped for the trouble. And now Lod is on match point. Mm -hmm. Oh, counter hit. 5H. Full extension into assimilation ender here. Now you're gonna have to chill out in this corner. Oh, giving plenty of space with punish 5H. Full wall. Oh no, forgot to do the pinwheel. Oh. Could have been a little bit more damage there. You could have a skybound art on deck, ready to go. Honestly, in that situation, had you finished the combo, you would have had skybound wow. art ready to go, but still doesn't matter. Gets a perfect and ties it up two to two in this loser's final. Hey, we go straight into the next match. You know, you see those oh, yeah. seven gold letters, you, you know. <laughs> they are feeling it. All right, we get to DP from a lot. Mm -hmm. DP oh, wow. again. I'm still trying to check 2M. And we see too that uh, Bisu is doing less 2M in these situations now because we've seen time and again that Allowed knows how to kind of avoid the situation of being stuck in some plus frames. Nice, opting back up here, assimilation off. Oh, Fireball no way. Okay. okay, here we go. Oh, and oh, it could happen wow. to you too. Just get oh. scooped. Oh, no, man. didn't block this EXDP here. Still has an opportunity. Gonna have to back off. Dodged. The EX pin coming through the fireball. All right. Isu is looking at match point here. Looking to move on to Grand Finals with Belial. Nice big counter hit jump in here. Assimilation carries you over to the corner here. No DP quite yet, but we know that's on deck here. Or Allowed. Boot gets challenged. Oh, tries to go for a throw attempt, but Allowed is not allowing any sort of scenario like that. And no anti air, no 5H. A little iffy situation there with the jump U, too. Oh, no. <laughs> that could have been. Oof. Yeah. It could have been a lot worse in that situation. 
Enix pin, Celeste will hold it. Nice. Attempting low for assimilation there. Oh boy. Big jump in. No throw. Was still caught running. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious me. EX fireball already thrown. Evan gets scooped again. No! <laughs> it can happen to you. And unfortunately, allowed will not be allowed to continue on into grand finals. It could happen to you, ladies and gentlemen. That was scoops. oh my god! That was such a good set. Yes, it really was. Such a good set. All right, we're going into grand finals now. We're gonna have Bisu yeah. versus Zombie Mew. So now I'm curious because I saw I saw mentions of Grand from from Zombie in chat. So I wonder if he's gonna <laughs> be playing Grand and not. I feel like in this match you probably want to stick with Yule. I, I honestly it depends upon the comfortability from Zombu really. Um, I, you go back to Grand or you stick with Yule in this matchup specifically to deal with Belial. So we'll see what turns out. Alright, so we do have Lyle, of oh, course. Yule. Sticking with Yule. Yep. Let's see how it goes. Ground definitely has the damage, but Yule is going to remove a lot of the jump you situations, a lot of the mix up potential that uh, Blyal kind of gets away with on other characters because of their strange anti air options. And once uh, Yule gets in, it's see here, you know. A lot of perfect range to whip punish a lot of the situations here. No anti air, but still EXDP. Lots of confidence from Yule here. Oh no! You hate to see that. Yeah. Still no full punish here. A little bit of a messy situation. No big deal. Simulation here. Nothing off of it. Just still gonna stand block. So now, what I want to see oh. in this matchup from Bisu is—is is he gonna bait out these DPs? Because last matchup, he let Zombie basically DP freely. And right. It is gonna be a lot of. Uh, Bisu has to show Zombu that, all right, I've found these answers here in this match. I'm not going to let you get away with what you did before. And that might cause Zombu to make a switch here, but we'll see how confident Zombu feels after uh, this round. That's going to Bisu. All right, let's see how this goes. And remember, Zombie Mew pre predicted inch in the, our room. He said, now watch me lose 6-0 in the next set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. he, he went low again on that, like you said. So I'm still waiting to see the overhead. Yeah, it's, it's come on. I've smelled it. Like either it's muscle memory at this point that surely you're not going to react to the low online, or I don't know what. Just we'll see. Nice ex dance. Still right. getting scooped. All right, nice throw from Bisu. Mm -hmm. Seen a lot more of oh. those right now. Yo, the raw. I think that was medium throw. Oh, there we go. And we baited to DP for the first time in the, out of the, all of the matches that they played. So the, Bisu definitely made some good adjustments. Takes yep. the first match in grand finals. Not shooketh at all. all right, here we go. You'll back at it again. Oh wow, counter hit. Not gonna get any sort of corner carry. I like the 5L situation there. A sim. Nice dance change there. I really like that idea there because you're expecting uh, Belial to do a 5H after the run up approach, and that dance is gonna cause a whiff punish scenario for Zambu. You're in a better situation at that distance in general. Nice. Going for the DP situation. Goes for low. Late recovery though from uh, Bisu. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oof, and he gets caught, Lana, so he's got to watch it. Mm -hmm. Tries to spot dodge, gets hit on the recovery of the dodge. All right, so game point here for Zambu. Nice counter hit. We're still a plus, and yes, look at that plus once again. Actually, wait. No, there's different data for the EX. I forgot what it was. Shoot. Nice back dash to get out of that throw. 
Oh, okay, no. There we go. Nice carry over to the corner here. Good anti-air damage. I'm just so Ops good. for a stance here. Yeah. Oh, and he based oh, the no. TP again. There we go. Yep. Bisu is, is tired of the malarkey out here. Nice jump out, but no confirm after. Again, going stance into stance, EX. No, oh my goodness, oh, there it no. is. A late anti air. Okay. Goes through the 5L cross under two, which is actually low. That's crazy. <laughs> we got oh, standing low. Scooped again. Yo. So, one thing it looks like BC learned from the last match was that he, every time he went for EX throw, it looked, I don't know if Zombie Mew was reacting to the, the sound or just a golden change, but he's yeah. gone for light, light and medium only in this set. Yeah. Which is a little bit different. It's one of those uh, command throws too, because there, there is still a sound cue, but you know, like you said, there's not that the EX sound cue. You still have Belial whispering sweet nothings to you on the approach. But uh, yeah, you're right. If we've only seen the slower command throws, and it's one of those things you recognize it's happening. You're like, I'm gonna get scooped, and still do nothing about it. Uh, uh oh! Wow! Yeah, there'll be a lot of damage here. One more mix will do it. One throw, even. Oh. Yeah, and that'll do it. A desperate EXDP attempt. A game on the board for Zambu. 1-1 one, one in Grand Finals now. Oh, boy. Counter hit. Yeah. Wall splat goes for an EX ender. Uh, DP ender, excuse me. And still just keeps with neutral. No overheads. Nothing. Just... Keep it simple. Honestly, if, if you're just uh, trying to control space and keep them in the corner, it's not a bad pick. Yup. And what are you going to do in this situation here? Because we're looking at a perfect. And there it is. Oh, oh no. Wow. Yep, but not close enough for the full combo here. Oh, <laughs> Just walking away for the pimp. DP again. Yeah. DP wow. again. Another DP. That's it. In all of those matches that they played so far, Zombie Me has gotten so many DPs. Jeez. Oh my god. You're at this point. It's safe to assume you're not going to stop it. You just have to be aware it's going to happen every time. But that's the unfortunate thing that when you stop your offensive pressure because you're scared of the DP, that potentially doesn't come out. It's the what if. You might not have to worry about the what if you get a kill here, though. Right. And it's not going to be quite there yet. One more hit will do it. Jumps out of the anti air. Plenty of meter here. Gets caught with the mess around and find out. Right. Both players on a game point here. Someone's trying to take the really big jump in from Zombu here. All right. That okay. Nice pinwheel. Nice oh, delayed. Yeah. Really good delay jump you. And we saw the jump install off of that too, so you got the higher jump arc. Really banging out that anti air attempt. He gets a sim. DP. E Excuse you. Ooh, there we go. Now we baited Zombie Muse DP. Yeah. That should be a dead. Oh no! No, he wasn't no. far enough. He was too far. Oh, no. Yes, and he got to confirm into it. Wall splat. Here we go. Oh, it's no. going to be a DP under here. What's the guess? Oh, no! Chip damage. Oh, I think you would have had to have done a dodge there. Oh, man. And BC is 2-1. Really unfortunate here. We saw in the chat nice. that landline 6-2. <laughs> so is that how it's going to be? Oh, EXDP, man. you spent it all. All right, here you go. Oh, oh no. no. Challenge still attempting these anti airs, and every single time Bisu has been baiting out these anti air attempts. And already the life deficit is pretty massive here. Nice, we got the wall splat right. right in the skybound art. Yeah, it's your one shot, right? Super skybound art immediately. Get that life lead and set up another situation here. It's gonna be a really nice, okay situation for Yule. What's it gonna be? Okay, it was for high this time. 
Has to hold the EXP. Nice oh, dodge no. into Antier. You committed yourself to a checkmate situation. Nice job oh, from Zambu man. here. I guess the good answer. Here. Full combo. Oh man. Ooh. Uh oh. Camille shut down the approach here, but still gonna get the wall splat damage here. Goes for low again. Gotta change it up. Nice punish off the EX throw, but still no confirm. Super Skybound Art is available here for Bisu. Nice anti-air. Yo, just do it. Exactly. Skybound Art from Zambu. Should be able to wrap it up. It does. And it's tied 2-2 now. Jeez Louise. Such a good right. set. It really is, honestly. And these are DLC characters. Who would have thought? <laughs> all right. So, will BC oh, get the get... reset? Will Zabu take it all? We're going to find out. All right. And here we go. Oh, it baits the DP again. And that's yeah. what you want to see from BC. Yeah. Looking really bad to start here. Tries to get the jump out here. But, of course, BC holding out the media L buttons. Wow. All right. A near perfect situation here. Beast is one round away from resetting this bracket. Indeed. Okay, nice, but no punish though. Beast was not caught over extending. Nice anti air here. And at this point, honestly, if you haven't learned, if you're watching Yule for the first time, it's super important to be able to get these anti air combos for Yule. This is where Yule gets the most damage. Every single hit you get off of an anti air, you, you can confirm essentially into a combo. And it's beef. Oh, wow. Counter hit. Just decides to walk up. Wants to make sure you're okay. That was a hard hit to the dome. EX wall bounce Ooh. here. Let's finish it up. All right. Zombie Mew on tournament point. Bisu on trying to get his reset. Whoever wins this. Whew. This. Yeah, th this is going to be a real rough one. Oh, what is um, the crap? Yikes. Such a oh uh, man, God. nice anti here, and again, we're gonna get the full confirm. Goes for an approach to close the gap here. We want this corner situation here. Dance is back. Wow, nice switch to dance here, and that's a lot like Narmaya in a way. Where when you see Narmaya will change stances, you get different attacks off of that. Uh, works very similarly to uh, Yule, except uh, <gasps> the difference being Yule is committed. Nice skybound oh art. Oh my God! As much damage as he can, and then he takes and, and it. An excuse me. <gasps> oh, my oh my goodness! And that'll do it. Zambu takes it three, two, over Bisu in grand finals. 